Yeah. <sighs> Boy, these tournaments is be exhausting. Yeah. God, I can imagine. Tournaments is be beyond exhausting. I can imagine, gang. Eyes only play, and I exhausted. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is what I like to see. Upcoming many. You really like Smash Four's oh, garbage. Yeah. I mean, you. Smash Four is still good. Smash Four got it seen. Not his grand finals. My God. Fuck. Anyway, uh, yeah, Smash Four got its uh, scene, which is pretty decent. Ran by Noah, aka Fraud. Even though I saw him had Fraud Fish. Anyway, whatever. Dudes was changing up their name. It was very good to see Patrick today. I hope he, you know, mm -hmm. he, he was welcomed into the community warmly. Uh, as you say, he'll be like Viper. Viper gone from zero to hero. Yeah. Viper with more upsets than I know what. He's the out smashing, though. He's the, he's the upset master. All right, so we got Shonen Kel and TK versus Shin and Duong. I'm joined here by my boy Holy Warrior. What up again? We didn't do too good at we didn't do good at all, my bad. Mm -mm. But um, you know, we get to see the other team do it for once. We get to see Team Blue because they were the ones that sent mm -hmm. uh, Duong and Shin to losers bracket. The one thing I honestly like about Team Blue and appreciate about Team Blue is that They've been coming consistently to play teams, and they've been in the same position we've been in for weeks. Yeah. Like, they've always been the ones to, like, it's always been Shin, Shin Wong, Holy Apkul at the end yeah. of teams, and then they come and get the same position we're in. I love that, and I love that Viper, those, you know, I just love this confidence boosting that's going on today. It encourages more and more, more and more. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Today, today was upset city. Oh yeah, definitely for sure. So for for people who, who say, well, you know, like uh, some Smash Four haters, I call no names, who always be like, hey, make no sense, you play the game because Shin go always win anyway. Eat your heart out, buddy. And I wasn't even in this tournament. Mm. Me, Norkel was in this tournament today. And um, keep in mind that Viper and Holy Warrior, I mean, Viper and Hidden beat me and Holy Warrior mm -hmm. in doubles. By the grace of God. By the grace of God, you know that. But because look at him. Mm -mm. And uh, so anything is possible once you put your mind and, 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 and your time into it. And I don't camp you. And and right. And somebody don't cheese you out. But but honestly and truly, I love when I see people you know commit to something and they gain results from it. Um, but getting back to the results, we got blue team that's not looking too good. Two up smashes away from. And then okay, that's the first up smash. And a back here, and I wouldn't put red team at a big lead, but no, 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 of course. Blue not. team is gonna definitely have to step it up a bit because they gotta wrap up these stocks right now. So, as we can see, uh, they're kind of sandwiching them in, which isn't too bad. Kel playing the aggressor, TK, nice, and that's what I told TK that he needed to do. He needed to start just throwing out forward tilts. Um, just walk up to Fox and throw it forward tilts when he's at high percent. Like, what can he do? Even if he um, crouch cancels it, he's just going to fall down and sets up for attack chase. Nice. Got the down smash. Some of it was a phantom. Uh, I think that was a mess up by Shonen Kel, but nice. Yeah. And it's going to come down to uh, these two. Now, DeWong has actually been playing the Peach matchup a lot better. He's been playing it a lot better than he used to. Okay, he allowed Kel to get back on stage. I know what he's looking for right now. Yeah, he, he, and Kel quite is quite aware quite of what he's looking yeah. for. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with what you're going to do, bro. All right. Kel wondering what he should do from this distance. Oh Doesn't block boy. a turn up. Got Nick him. Nicki Minaj. Oh. Yeah, that yeah. Shorten has been working yeah, out hella good for him today. Shorten everything. Nice. Let's see if he's going to wrap the stock up. This should be alive. it, but no, he's no, still he's alive. alive. Yeah. He's going to go for the left and dash. Oh! Kel, Kel had that perfectly spaced, right? Uh, that boom, 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 I can tell you that for sure, if he does a left and dash and you outspace him, you're going to punch him before he does that smash. It has to be literally frame perfect for you to mm -hmm. get most of the invincibility. And Kel just knew where he was going to be. That's super base. Turn out them bears like it's nothing. Uh, I can see the chin is very tired. He, I, he just has that I'm so friggin' tired look on my face right now. Bruh. But guess what? You know, 
when you come to tournaments, this this thing feels like a job sometimes, like because it mentally wears you out. So that's a part of Smash too, like to not be mentally drained or or to try and resist being mentally drained. Oh, nice. Okay. TK being really smart, just trying to hold on to the stock as long as possible. Letting Kel be the aggressor, throw the down smashes. Nice. Oh, that was really smart by Kel. Knowing that they like to drop with a falling up air, just throwing out that up smash right there. Ah, uh, you have to be careful. Shin always throws out back air. Knowing that you're going to come down, you have to kind of like air dodge or DI a certain way. But mostly like air dodge at a particular position, and you can avoid the back air. Mm -hmm. Okay, they did a good job separating them. Now TK is just trying to wait on Kel. Nice. Taking his time. Moving out of bad positioning. Damn, blue team definitely have a plan. But red team uh, doing what they do best. I grow. Okay, this is a bad position Shin is in. Oh, man. If Kel had dash attack, that would have been uh, Shin's stock. Speaking of dash attack, that was something I should have done when they was off stage. Anyway, we'll test it out when I play again. Nice. Pokemon Stadium is a very, very strong counter pick that they like Double Fox. And that's one of the reasons why I opt to not use Samus. Um, th this stage is just, it, it benefits fast fallers more. But the side blast zones, they're very small. Oh my god, that, that was crazy. Oh man, that was so smart by TK to just back throw him right there. He can get it, yeah, but he's not gonna die. And again, he allowed Shin to back air him right there, coming down. Oh, nice. This is the part where TK should definitely be using a lot of dash attacks after tech chases, after knockdowns. Nice. Right there. Boom. Forward tilt. Ah, there you go. See, TK is no longer shielding. He's actually cleaning up stocks. But I don't know how this is looking. Because Kel is the aggressor and he's now at ah, 108. I was about to say that. He's going to die. Uh, this is definitely looking like this is going to be red team. Unless uh, TK could bring out a Mewtwo King, which I can. <laughs> Mewtwo King would have camped that ledge. Camp that ledge, throw out beds for days. Nigga would have thrown someone off, and that would have been good night. All right, here we go. We're going to FT. This was a stage I was not sure about. I was wondering if I should have just gone Captain Falcon and allow you to go Sheik on the stage. But because it's Fox, and because I know what Fox would do to Sheik, I was very unsure. But this is one of our good stages. Oh, I would have ran. If we had fought them on the stage with that, I would have cheek, I would have yeah. run. Because I was thinking about it, but I wasn't exactly sure. All right. Nice. It was nice. Oh, man. Worth it. I thought that was Peach. I hear in the background. Well, I did hear Peach scream. That's probably from that TV. Um, what I was going to say was, Kel is doing a very awesome job holding on to the stock. Okay, he's not doing it. Commentator's curse. But he was doing a very good job holding on to the stock, despite the fact that he is the aggressor. Now they're going after the support. You have to be careful doing that. That is a very bad habit that Cheeks and Samus is out, where they just jump up in fear from the ledge. And oftentimes or not, the Wong usually waits on that. Mm -hmm. And he always waits on it with a back air. To beat that, you have to wait for him to already commit to the back air and then slip in once he go for another jump. But sometimes he'll mix it up and throw a, uh, a, shine. a forward smash. No. Sometimes he'll only throw, he'll only throw the uh, shine if you jump in when he lands. You have to wait for him to start to jump again. You could sneak under him. Oh! Yeah. Nice. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. 
TK being a lot smarter, throwing out F tilts. Hmm. Yo, uh, blue team definitely have a plan, but oh man, miscommunication. Uh, this is the closest I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. My, this, this is a high beam though. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. What is it? Hold on to ah uh, yeah. You have to be careful. Let's go onto the ledge like that sometimes, especially like if I have Captain Falcon and I notice you off stage. I don't notice. I don't try to save you because I don't want to risk getting shine off the ledge. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Just grab ledge. Yeah. Okay. And now we're back to the 2v1s. This is Shin playing now. So he's going to do a good job of evasion. I need some candy. All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Titan is killing you right now. I understand. So anyway, let's get back to this. Yo, blue team determined to friggin' win today. I hope they win, though. Yeah. Though. I'm really... I really don't want to see them next time. Oh. I don't know how I feel about them going back to the stage, considering the blue team just kind of, like, demolished them. No, they actually won here. Oh, did blue team in here. Nice. He pressed L a little too soon. Nice usage in there. Yeah, they're not doing as good a job as they were before. I think if Blue Team was to lose here, they'd probably go back. This is one of their best counter picks. Nice. TK not going in, kind of just throwing out needles. They're trying to choke them out, pretty much. But uh, Dewong doing a, I think, is it Dewong or is it Shin? One of them is doing a really good job of holding the stocks. That's Shin. Nice. Kind of bringing this back. But they're going to have to get rid of Fox. They're going to have one? to get rid of uh, the Fox with two stocks, which is, I think, Dewong. Yeah. Down smash. Oh, my God, TK. What are you doing? Yeah. Grab ledge. Yeah. That was beautiful. I was telling TK in my mind, I was like, "What are you doing?" Because he could have, he could have definitely down smash right there to continue that the combo. Washer. He had a wash house. We call it the the ping pong. Okay, TK has to do a job of running away. Nice. He has to hold on to the stock for as long as possible. So he he's going back to the needles. All he needs is percentage. Ah, nice. Oh yeah, that was not gonna work out. Ah, very good by Shonen Kel breaking that combo. Ah. Almost had it. Yeah. It'll probably be 2 2 after this one. Yeah. B 
Because Shin still had that fresh stock left, it was very hard for him to, to even mount a comeback. Okay, so they look like they're going the Yoshi story. But I don't know why would he anyway. I'm surprised they didn't go double peach. The Wong decided that he's gonna camp. On the right side of the ledge. Okay, nice. <laughs> If blue team win, it'll be like good diversity because usually it'll always be me and you or Shin. Because yeah. it's not much teams. And uh, I would definitely say blue team, Kel and TK, usually sometimes they beat the, the underdog. Yeah, that's the three. Mean, and yeah. for, the, for them to, you know, take this victory here would be like that'd a, really that'd be a huge win for them. Yeah. Okay, so. But red team is playing a little extra annoying. And blue team is down. If they don't wrap the stock up real quick, it could be looking like a bracket reset. I don't know why they went here. They told me that the stage didn't work out for them. And i surprised they didn't go double peach. Nice. Double peach? No. They kind of even it back up. The thing about this stage is Fox get gimps. Oh, TK. Stock wasn't that, that much anyway. Okay, TK is going to have to make an incredible, um, he's going to have to hold on to the stock now. This is going to have to be a very incredible stock for him. Nice. Kel doing a very good job protecting TK right there. Oh, Randall. <laughs> Your heart is pure. Heart is pure, man. All right. This is their chance. Oh, man. Shame with the falling up there on Peach. Uh, he was trying. And it's looking like a bracket reset. And it is. Uh.